All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we kick off Geneva Night Out at the library, Poetry Night with the Speakeasy Society. Kayla, our biggest fan and uh, first performer of this evening. And now we go from our youngest to our seasoned, uh, seasoned writer, director, actor, Ed Scutt from Rochester, New York. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. This is called After the Open Read. Hey, punk. Poetry punk. You think you've got the only concession selling disaster plaques? Who made you, Angstmeister? Hey, punk. Poetry punk. You think that Monroe Avenue quaint shop of the month cross dangling around your neck gives you this impossibly complex, like totally indecipherable by anyone but you cross to bear? Hey, punk. Poetry punk. Yeah, you with the rings and things dangling and straining from and in and around orifices where God, yeah, that's right, God with a capital G, didn't mean orifices to be. You think the energy of anger belongs only to you when you've got the mutilations to prove it? Hey, punk. Poetry punk. Have you ever heard of stretching? Not some yuppie warm-up to a perfectly coordinated by Adidas action wear jog, but a conscious attempt at a, a love poem or pre- or post-Ginsbergian protest against used tampons on the beach even for Dickinson's sake. That's Emily and Crane, Stephen, who beat you and Ginsburg to the punch by a hundred years. Hey, brother, poetry brother, yeah, you with the rings and things and hat and trench coat, don't repeat so much. You haven't got the only beat on such things as disgust, but you must keep needling us and maybe you'll be the very craziest of second comings, which is a very old phrase, actually, coined by this hoary ancient geezer who hung out with, and this is the important part, still does hang out with Ginsburg. <laughs> 